Welcome to Wacky Wednesdays, where everyone has a chance to show off their car mods. And here's this week's winner. Hey everybody, this is my uh, 1969 Ford F100, 360 cubic inch Ford FE motor, two barrel carb, three speed on the tree. This is a very solid truck for being 50 years old. Paint job's not the best. What do you expect for a 50 year old vehicle? I bought this truck originally from uh, a place here in Nashville, Tennessee. I bought it for <laughs> $900 actually. Uh, has a rebuilt motor and uh, the guy that owned the auto shop did not want it anymore. Didn't want it sitting in his uh, lot anymore. And he said uh, for me to take it for a thousand, I said, well, how about 900? And he said, go for it. And so ended up with the truck. This is a, uh, I believe a Ranger. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that part, but it is a long wheelbase. Short wheelbases are a lot more expensive, of course. This has a 15 inch tire all the way around, a uh, four nine inch rear end. A lot of people mistake these old trucks for high boys, which high boys came a lot taller than this from the factory. Going back to the story about uh, having bought this truck from a mechanic shop the guy originally thought this was his uh, high school truck that he had during the mid to late 70s and uh, thought it was his original truck which he said it was red at the time and yeah like down here and these little strap holders and back there in the bed kind of hard to see uh, but yeah this is a very very structurally sound truck like i said the paint job isn't the best you know not really looking forward to sinking a whole lot of money off into this thing uh, just something that i like to drive around on the weekends and once summer gets here take to a couple of shows and such let's take a look at the interior here oh and if you notice too i have two different mirrors i have the bracket in the back of the truck for that uh just really got to find a mirror people tell me go to o'reilly's but i won't original forward mirror that's understandable this is the inside. I got the truck with these speakers in it. I really don't like that, but you gotta do something with it. Yeah, that's my that's my speaker now. Got a crack here, but you know, all things you gotta expect out of a 50 year old vehicle that's that's in such a condition. It's been sitting for a while. I got a uh, Bosch. Uh, two I believe uh, illuminated tachometer and just a Sun Pro old pressure gauge and the dash cluster isn't the, in the best of shape the odometer works 58,000 miles steering wheel is not in the best condition um, carpets fair good or whatever you want to say I have no idea what that stain is over there but uh, I've tried washing it away it's not coming off so I'll have to try something a little bit stronger but still easy on the paint there's my stock radio <laughs> I'm not 100% sure if this is stock because I would think it would have an 8 tracks original uh, heat controls heat works uh, not not the best but you can't like I said you can't expect much out of a vehicle like this you know the classic dice three speed on the tree what I consider a modern day anti-theft device um, most people don't know how to drive three speeds unless you're 50 years or older. I've got a straight piped exhaust system. That sounds sweet. True dual. Let me get back here and look at the other side of it. Yeah, true dual. Still have exhaust manifolds on the vehicle. It's a overall fairly nice truck. Now under the hood, I don't know what's going on with this wiring job, but it's not perfect. A lot of this wiring was like this when I picked up the vehicle, uh, like the tack. The tack has been recently installed, you can tell just because of how clean the wires are compared to the other ones. And that little dinky thing right there was already on the car, but I wish I had a uh, the one that actually came on it because I don't like that at all. But one interesting thing here is the wires for the tack if we can see it 
actually come out through one of the master cylinder bolt holes. Everything runs fine, got good oil pressure. This truck does not miss a lick. And we'll get a good listen of the exhaust system. Like I said, straight piped, 16 inch tips. Um, still exhaust manifolds on it, no headers. Uh, maybe for a later day. But kind of sounds good as it is right now. So let's give it a listen. great little truck I really enjoy it here again you, you know you can you can see the red still fading through and the tops not that clean sat under a tree from the mechanic sh shop that I bought it from so it's got a quite a bit of tree sap on it it's hard to wash off but I've got most of it off from when I purchased it good little weekend truck I really enjoy having this truck and driving it around uh, the cops don't enjoy it too much but uh, you know it's a fun little piece of history I guess you could say it's uh, it is an original Dearborn uh, plant truck uh, from you know Michigan so pretty cool about that um, last thing I like to say I want to thank Scotty for allowing me to uh, showcase my truck to you all um, really means a lot to me I want to thank you everybody for watching this video and especially thanks Scotty and I wish everybody a good weekend well that was this week's video and to have your car mod shown on my channel here check this out so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos remember to ring that bell